boy Black G92. Man, it's crazy how the past two to three days this country's been going back up, specifically in Minneapolis again. Now, I'll just send my prayers out to the citizens of Minneapolis as well as the family of Dante Wright, who was 20 years old, that lost his life to at the hands of a police officer who I hope the guy gets convicted because that was just madness. This whole case was mad. The whole situation was just madness overall. But I might speak on it in the future video once I look into more of the story. So other than that, I can say RP to the hip-hop legend, Rough Riders recording artist, multi-platinum selling rap artist as well, and actor, DMX, who passed away this past Friday, this past Friday the 9th after spending a week in a coma as a result of a drug overdose. And it, it was the whole week leading up to that day, that sad day in hip hop was just crazy because not just myself, not just myself, but a lot of people just pray for him to just bounce back and, you know, get back out there and release that album he was working on. They mentioned in the Drink Champs. I saw the clip. He mentioned the features. and stuff. He's supposed to have, like, the Gazelda dudes and Pop Smoke on the album. And, you know, we was waiting for, for him to bounce back, you know, put out that new music. and Or if, if not, kick back and just take it easy. You know what I mean? So I was hoping he would just beat this, but. As all the details start unfolding, like as far as the his brain function was non-existent basically after a week, and like or and then there was all these different reports. Lawyer sent in misinformation talking about we breathe on his own, but while he's all the while he's actually still on life support, and the whole thing was just crazy. And like I said, we was all praying for him to just bounce back, man. And that. Friday, like until the time we found out that he was gone, like or or he started failing and shit, and this just was looking bad. We was just just hoping for a miracle, but but unfortunately, the thing that he's been fighting since he was a teenager just got the best of him, and I guess I feel like it was time for him to call him home. So <sighs> it was such a sad day for him. Man. It 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 man it it, it messed me up. I'll tell you that. Because when I first saw the news on Twitter and then shown the article from my leads at my job, I just shut down, man. I just couldn't believe that. I had to hold back tears and everything. Cause this is someone I was list I've been listening to since I was a kid, like in two thousand, like when I was eight, living in South Carolina. My which was I think believe the first song I heard from X was the song Party Up on the Radio and seeing a music video for What These Bitches Want. The edit version of course on Rap City and been on them ever since. And getting deeper into his discography when I was a teenager. Like especially his first album, His Dark as Hell is Hot, which is my favorite albums from his discography and like been listening to his stuff on up and for him to just like pass away like that just hurts it hurt it different. I, I couldn't show up on Friday. I couldn't even show my face on YouTube on Friday because I would have just been bawling, man. I would have just been bawling. And it still doesn't it still doesn't feel right that he's not he's a like we won't see him in person no more. We won't see see him alive no more. Like even though like he has interviews, music and such that would live on as well as movie roles and such that will live on to the end of time, but the fact that he's no longer here just still feels unreal. Like, like something you just still can't believe. But, I, but you know, we gotta accept and this send our condolences to the family. And oh, they've been hurt. I know the family's been hurt like a motherfucker as well as like the people that's, that he's worked with, the Rough Riders label mates and such. I know they was hurt, man. So much condolences to the Rough Riders fam and. Yeah, man, it was it was crazy, and also I like to m mention something else. Uh, his music also like inspired some of my craft, how I write my music as well. So it was, it was just a heavy loss in hip hop, man. I'd like to also mention the past day, past like Thursday, I've been listening to most of his discography, like from the first album on sec, first second, first two albums on down, like. I haven't gotten to like Grand Champ, but 
just been going back to like listening to his albums, to all his old albums and such, and watching tribute, be, watching people give their old commentary about his past, how it affected them. And it's, it's a pay tribute. It's, I do my own way of paying tribute. And, and I, I was like, like to also mention that Friday, I had me some six pack, which <laughs> did not help with the dealing with the loss. It did not help at all. It just made me all emotional when I was, Niggas was in there shedding tears and shit, man. It really was. Like I said, it's been like I said, I just been listening to this catalog for the past day, few days or so. And uh, just a pay, just a, like just remember. I, now I will do something like later on, not later on, but perhaps sometime next week. It won't be no time soon. I guess I'm. It's not even going to be a rush. I'm just going to basically just react to, like, the time he, like, linked up with Nipsey Hussle and the All Money fam. Like, I don't know exactly what the location was. It was, like, before Nipsey Hussle dropped Victory Lap. It was, like, way back sometime in the early, mid-2010s that I've seen on my Facebook timeline. So I might react to that, the pay tribute and and whatnot. That's that's something I'm going to do just to, you know, get my ass off to, to do it's and it's crazy. Like before the news even came out, I was maybe it was a week or so, a week or so before the news of him like having to overdose and going into a coma. Like I was busy getting, like trying to upload, trying to edit this re, this first part of this reaction that I did to Hip Hop Universe's top fifty DMX songs that I was working on. And that had like set private because. I had to deal with it. some of this stuff. Of course, all the song, most of the stuff, of course, stuff there was copyrighted material in there, but it was blocked, so I couldn't. It was it wasn't available for public, so it was blocked. So I was like I said, I was busy like editing that one and trying to upload it to Vimeo, but some happened, so I'm not too sure if it's even on my Vimeo. Which if I whenever I get a chance to, it's gonna be posted in the description box below, and so then you'll see it if it's on there. If, if it's on there, I'm going to post a link in the description box so you'll see it. And this video will not be monetized either because it, it'll just be tacky. It, or it may not, it just be, regardless how big my channel gets, it will not be monetized at all. At all. It's, yeah, it just won't be, it won't be right because it ain't that type of, this ain't that type of video. Anyway, I just want to go on here just to say this quick, do I like, speak real quick, and I'll see you in the next video. And let me know in the comment section if happen to be if you're a fan of DMX or was new to him. Let me know like your favorite moment, favorite interviews, songs, verses, albums. Let me know in the comment section below. So we can keep this on going, showing love. And let's remember the times he was here, which before I log off, another favorite moment was that Tim Westwood interview. We just, we just did a freestyle and was just like chopping up with Tim Westwood about like real life shit and such. Like how he's just not into the whole industry talk, industry stuff, whatever. Just rather just kick just kick it somewhere, like away from all the Hollywood madness. And also another favorite moment when his his spoken word on the industry. Which I recommend y'all to check out, cause dude was speaking some hell of facts on that, on that spoken word for real. Like, I suggest y'all go ahead and just uh, YouTube if you haven't check it out already. But I'm pretty sure those that have like seen it, you already know. And also got the heart got the DVD of like the movie appeared in Never Die Alone, which is based on Donald Goins' book, Donald Goins' book, which I haven't read yet. Which I have to say it was a very good movie and. X did his role, did an amazing job at his role as King David. So, if you haven't seen that movie already, be sure to check that one out too. That's a, that's that movie stayed in rotation. Like my first, when I first got it for Christmas, I used to like watch that movie several times. That's how good it was to me. That is, and my opinion still of the movie still remains the same after all those years as an adult as well. I mean, it may not have been the best, but. It's still it's not like the worst neither. So, but if you want want something that's 
like a crime drama. I suggest y'all to check it out. You know what I mean? So. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I'll let your boy. Peace.